Hey, welcome to Ant Lab Games. I'm Anthony. And I'm Francis. And today we're going to play Pipeline. Pipeline, Pipeline Negotiator. Pipeline Negotiator. <laughs> All right, so Pipeline is a tile placing game, um, kind of a economic game as well. Yes. Uh, designed by Ryan Courtney for Capstone Games. Plays two to four players mm -hmm. in about 120 minutes. All right. We're going to try to keep to that. And I'm going to try to not talk. Yes, so I'll be doing all the explaining in this one. But uh, join us at the table and we'll show you how it plays. All right, welcome back. So here we have Pipeline set up for two players. We have many pipelines. Uh, not yet. We have a lot, <laughs> a lot of pipes, but no pipeline. So what is pipeline? It is a game of oil, industrial achievement, and economic superiority. Okay. All right. So you are basically <laughs> creating pipelines to refine oil um, that you've purchased in crude form, refining it up to one of three different levels, mm -hmm. and either selling it back to the market, fulfilling contracts, or fulfilling orders. So if you take a look at the board, I'll show you how we set up for two players and uh, give you a quick overview of how the turns are going to go. So here you have it. It's a lot of stuff going on in this board, but it really isn't as intimidating as it seems. So I'll just go over all the little bits and pieces and then we'll jump in, right? So starting in the far left, here you have valuation cards. There are uh, four cards there. One of them is a valuation tile which is in every game. So we're going to be scored at the end of three years to determine uh, how much additional money you can earn for certain achievements when we're, when we're being evaluated, right? In the upper left-hand corner, you'll see a series of numbers in three different color water droplets, right? So in this game, there are three different types of oil, orange, gray, and teal. The color of the oil means absolutely nothing other than the fact that it's a certain type of oil, right? Every oil type has three different grades. Well, four technically. So you've got it crude, which means it hasn't been refined at all. You've got low, mid, and high grade oils, right? And that'll be uh, achieved through refinement in your pipeline. So in the upper left, th those numbers were drawn at random and placed out and they tell you how big of a pipeline you need in order to refine it each step of the way right. from beginning to end, right? So that's all you need to know for now. I'll explain more of that later. Up here is the, uh, the uh, turn order, which makes sense. Here's our round track. So you'll see there's three years, but each year uh, gets shorter as the game goes on. So it kind of really ramps up to the end. Uh, up here you have the crude market where we're able to purchase uh, any of these oil types in their crude or unrefined form. Here you have contracts we'll be able to, to take and hopefully fulfill throughout the game, and we'll explain that as well. You've got orders which have to be fulfilled all at once, and that'll generate you some extra money. In the center, you have these four uh, grids. We call it like a quadrant, right? So there's four different uh, sections of what is known as government pipes. So you're buying cheap pipes from the government. At the start of the game, only two of these sectors are available for purchasing and then one will open up each year up to the fourth to the third year where the fourth opens uh right now none of them are open but the first person who takes a, a purchase action from a certain uh sector will open that particular sector and then they can choose whatever mm -hmm. other sectors they want right on the right here you've got machines and tanks which can be purchased and we'll explain how they sort of work on the right you've got additional pipes that can be purchased through these shops um, and down here, you've got the refined market one, two, and three, where you can sell refined oil back to it or buy the respective color crude oil, right? So you with me so far? Oh, I know it. Oh, you know it. So in the center, how does this game work? Uh, in the upper right, I forgot to tell you, these are upgrades that you can do to your company that will help you do things a little bit better, but mm -hmm. at a cost. They're very yeah. expensive. The game turn everybody has a turn you've got a work phase and you have a machine phase and in your work phase is where you're going to do all of your worker placement you have one worker and you can place him on any of the eight spaces on the cross so there's two spaces per arm and these are at random so uh, you've got contracts and loans where you can take out a contract 
or uh, up to three contracts, or you can take out a loan, which is terrible. Um, upgrades is where you can buy these upgrades. Tanks and pipes allows you to go to this shop and buy tanks and or pipes. And the machines and pipes, where you can go to this shop and buy machines and or pipes. Um, all of these additional actions can be taken as either your primary or your secondary action, and they just allow you to visit the different markets. It's mm -hmm. pretty simple. Um, what you do on your turn is you just put your worker on one of these actions, either here or here, for example. And for an additional $10, you can take the adjacent action as a secondary action. Doesn't sound like much, but $10 in this game is a lot is a of high. moolah. All right? That's your whole turn. You're going to take one primary maybe a secondary action you have the option to run a machine in your pipeline and then your turn's over like that's it so we're just going to be going back and forth uh, jump down to the player board quite simply this is your field of oil tanks and this is what you're going to be storing all of your crude and refined oils as long as you have the space so at the beginning of the game you are given five tanks to put anywhere you want but you have to be uh, aware of how many you put in each grade because that's all you're gonna be able to hold so if you don't put any down in the crude you can't buy any crude oil mm -hmm. you're gonna have to go buy some tanks right away so uh, this is the recommended setup and that's what we've gone with you start with forty dollars in cash the victory point conditions in this game are cash whoever has right. the most money at the end is the winner it's all about the money it's all about the monies so you'll also notice there's a lot of these tiles on the board these are all the two-player blocking tile so they tighten the board up for two players which we always always appreciate yeah i think yeah. that covers it i think so too so without further ado you are going to be player one so yeah. you're going to get to go and take the first set of actions and then we'll jump right in and start this game all right all right what are you gonna all do right. hmm all right for my first move mm -hmm. i'm going to take an upgrade Okay. Upgrades are expensive. They cost 20 large. Right. You can buy up to two, but... I'm only buying one. Yeah. I'm going to take this one. Okay. So which one is that? Engineering. All right. What does that do? Uh, for each of my pipelines, the refined value is increased by one for every four lengths of that pipeline. Okay. So... Which basically just means instead of having five lengths, I can have four and it counts as five. Right. Etc. Uh, the way upgrades work is you... Whoever buys the upgrade, that stack so that type engineering gets blocked for the rest of this year mm -hmm. the player who buys it has the option to put out an additional blocker on another one which one would you like to put it on that one so you've blocked out all government and that's my favorite one mm -hmm. okay that's fine that's fine so you have an option now to spend 10 more dollars to go yep. to the refined market uh, I'm not gonna do you're that. not going to do that so your turn's up yep. um, you also have this symbol which means that you can change the order of player the player order. Or yeah. the player I'm order. I'm already player one. All right, That's so then it. you're fine. So now it's my turn. And in this game, you can take the same action as another player. So I'm going to take upgrades as well. Mm. And I'm going to spend my $20. And I'm going to buy this human resources. Nice. And what one. human resources does, and I will block off... I don't think any of us are upgrading anything else anymore. <laughs> I'm going to block. Um, this actually allows me to take secondary actions for free. I do not pay the usual $10. So that is my upgrade. I'm not going to pay an extra 10 to take another action. So that ends the first year. And we would normally have a machine phase after the work phase, but we have no pipelines or machines. So it's kind of irrelevant. Mm -hmm. So um, I will change player order, though. Okay. Right? So now we're going to change player order, and we are in the second round. It's just very, very fast moving. Mm -hmm. So I've got $20 to spend, and I can go anywhere and do anything. But I think what I'm going to do first... Oh, no, this is terrible. Why? <laughs> it's just terrible. Oh, okay. Um, what I'd like to do... Is because there's a couple things I want to do, but I'm not really in a good position to do it. So I'm going to go to contracts and loans, and mm -hmm. I'm going to take out a loan. Okay. So when you take out a loan, you take one of these red cubes, and that's going to cost me twenty dollars at the end of the game, and there's no way to get rid of it. Mm -hmm. And that loan is worth fifteen dollars, which doesn't sound like a good trade-off, but I guess it's interest, right? Yeah. So now I can also take a contract. I could take up up to three of these, one from each row 
um, and I'm probably not going to take three of them because these are going to need to be filled throughout yeah. the game every year. So I'm going to take, I'll take this one because this one's pretty easy to fulfill. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this into my, onto my board, but I'm going to flip it upside down. So it's going to be inactive. And at the end of the year, it will become active and I don't have to fulfill it until it becomes active. So I'm kind of like prepping for later mm -hmm. because once you've got it, I've got to fill this every year. I mean, do I think I could fill it by the end of this year? Three low grade oil. I'm not sure. So I'm not going to take that risk because <laughs> if you can't fill it, you take another red token and you lose it. Right. So that's, that's beat. However, I'm going to take my secondary action because I can get do for that free. for free. And I'm going to go to the crude market and make some purchases. So and this is where I can buy some crude oil, any of these types. So I will, you know what? I'm going to keep this active. I'm going to, I'm going to go out on a limb. Let's make okay. this exciting, right? Sure. I'm going to buy two orange. So I'll take the two cheapest orange crude and that's what? $10. Mm -hmm. And I'm also going to buy two grays. That'll be $12. That'll be another 12. So here's 15. And I'll take three and change. And that's all I can actually store. If you notice, I've got all four of my tanks in the mm -hmm. crude oil space filled. So that's the end of my turn. Okay. All right, your turn. I'm going to go here and buy some government tiles. Ah, so government tile action. So when you buy tiles from the government, it's a lot cheaper <laughs> than yeah. going to the pipe shop. Um, in this case, I'm going to buy two government tiles for $10. Okay. And the way this works is, because I'm the first one to go out here and do it, I can basically pick whatever tile I want. Yep. But wherever I put my meeple, the tiles that I purchase need to surround that tile. Yes, any adjacent tile. Yeah, so I'm going to take this one, and I'm going to take this one. Okay. And I'll just leave that guy there. And I'm going to start building my pipeline. Okay, so you aren't going to take, you can't take secondary actions here. No. And you are basically done then. I am done. Right. So the way the tiles work is they just have to, you just really have to connect at least one side exactly. of them and connect the pipes. Yep. And the pipe colors don't have to match, but that creates a very inefficient pipeline. Right, because you would never do this, really. Yeah, that would be the worst pipeline ever. That would be terrible. Uh, so that's the end of this round. We haven't changed player order, so we go on to round three, and I start us up again. So I probably need to get some pipelines going, considering, right? I would say so. So, uh, like I said, you have an option to go either tanks and pipes, machines and pipes, and buy pipelines from here at a premium, or I can go to one of the government. Like now the I can government go, scrapyard. I can go here or to any other government um sector because none of them have been activated yet so i probably will go i'm looking for the best one ever and it's always elusive maybe i'll go here yeah and i'm gonna take this tile i'm gonna buy two of them so i'll take that one and an adjacent one. I don't know which one I want, though. Probably this one. Okay. All right, so those are the two I'm going to take. And I can connect them, like, any way I want to. So maybe I'll do like that. Maybe I'll do like... Uh, I don't like that either. <laughs> You're terrible. All right, I'll go like that. All okay. Right. So just so you understand how the, the, the pipes work real quick, the length of the pipe determines how many, how many, uh, how much quality that pipeline has for that particular color. And you just count each joint. So for example, my orange pipe is one, two, three sectors long. The cheapest upgrade from crude to low on the orange mm -hmm. is five. So I'm mm -hmm. still two rungs away. They're all five. Yeah. They're very expensive up, up front. So I'm a ways away from being able to do anything with that yet, but it's it's coming it's coming around. So that was ten dollars, right? Uh huh. So there's my ten bucks. I'm kind of broke again. I may need to take another <laughs> subsidized loan All right. here. So All it's right. your turn again, right? Um, it's my turn again. 
Turn order didn't change. Oh, turn order didn't change. Did you take your action after I just bought pipes? Because I was player one. You did not. It's your oh. turn, actually. Really? Yeah, because last round, you ended the round buying pipes, and then you built your pipes. I forwarded it. I bought pipes. Oh, you and did. And now it's your turn. Oh, okay. I thought I went first. No, I'm player one now. I know, I know. That's why I was confused. You moved that thing? I did. We're on oh, round three right okay. now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you had too much take well. I think so. Um, okay, that's fantastic, actually. Why is that so good? Well, that's great, actually. I'm going to go to the refined market. Uh huh. Number one. I'm going to buy two crude oils for $5. From each. the refined market one. So you're going to take two of the, t the teal oils. Correct. Which okay. are actually green, but pretend they're teal. Yep. And now you would be able to, for $10, take a yep. take some pipes, um, but you're broke too now, right? Yep. So that ends the thir third round. Now we're in round four. Okay. Now it's your turn. Yep. All right. This is kind of a waste round for me, but I'm mm -hmm. going back to take out another loan. Mm. Another 15 bucks. I'm going to owe so much money at the end of the game because it gets progressively <laughs> more expensive. I'm going to pay back 50 bucks now at the end of the game. Mm. Well, you don't pay back. You just get a penalty. Well, yeah, I mean, that's minus points, yeah. so technically it's money that's out of my pocket. Points. That's minus a lot of points. That's minus many points. So I'm I'm not doing anything else, so it is that's now your it. turn. Yep. Okay. I would buy more crude oil, but I have no more tanks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. True that. Okay. Well, I'm going to go here. So here's an here's another thing you can do. Yes. So I'm gonna actually run my tanks manually. 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 So I'm gonna put my worker actually physically on this tile, and what this will do is run any pipelines on this tile. Correct. Now these two little pipe segments don't mean anything. I really only have one pipeline going on mm -hmm. here. This only has a segment value of four, one, two, three, four. But I have the engineering upgrade. So it is actually five. That is right. Which means that I can turn one of my crude oils up to a low-grade oil. Low-grade oil. Very good. Your turn. All right. So again, we don't have any machines, so we're just going to keep chugging along. So now I'm going to go and buy some more government pipes. So I'm going to go and buy this. Okay. So I'm going to actually buy these two. That's going to cost me $10. And I'm going to place one here and place one here. All right. Okay. One, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now it's your turn. All right. I'm going to stay here and run my pipes again. Wow. Running them again. Okay. Yeah, we're getting so close to your end. This is scary. So now I'm actually going to go and run my pipeline. So by going here, mm -hmm. this has all three color pipes on it. So yes. I can run each pipe once. Um, obviously, the teal pipe doesn't matter because I don't have any uh, crude teal. And neither does the gray. The gray does matter. It's not uh, big one, enough. two, three. Oh, it's not big enough. All right. Well, at least the orange is big enough. Orange is five, so mm -hmm. I can move up one. Uh, and at any point, I can, during my work phase or my machine phase, take an oil and place it on my order, mm -hmm. my contract, rather, right. to fulfill it. And I get paid immediately yeah. on that oil. So a low-grade oil on the contracts will earn me $20. Yep. So I will take $20. Oh. Okay. Uh, that's my turn. All right. So I'm going to go to Refine Market 2, and I'm going to sell these two low-grade green oils mm -hmm. for 50 bucks. Okay. Here. So where did you go? I went to the refined market too and sold. Oh, it. sorry. These don't go here. They go on the board. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah, so for fifth, so you can sell refined oil to the market as long as there is room for that. Mm -hmm. And um, that is it. So now it's mm -hmm. second to last round. Uh, you Where are you? You're mm -hmm. here. Oh okay, yeah, you can take a secondary action now. You have, you do have the money for ten dollars. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. No, there's nothing I want. No, no machines and pipes. Mm -hmm. All right, so 
I will go and I'm actually going to go and buy some more pipes. I just keep buying pipes and this is, <laughs> this is just not looking good for me. Um, yeah. Uh, you can go while I'm doing this. I just, I'm just grabbing pipes. So if well, you I'm want. Grab pipes too. Oh, really? Maybe. Dang it. <laughs> I don't want you taking my pipes. Okay. All right. So maybe I will do. I kind of want to do. <sighs> this is so complicated now. Uh. Yeah, maybe I'll do this one. I'll take these two. Okay. And I'll figure out how to fit them in. And that's the one I wanted. Oh, well. That's unfortunate. All right, so there we go with that. And that's pretty good. Oh, and I can do like that. That's actually not bad either. Okay. Hmm. Uh, it's ten bucks. Yeah, it gets progressively more expensive if you buy more. Mm-hmm. And uh Okay. Alright. I'm gonna go home. just go up here I was gonna buy four whoa for $35 maybe that's, I will that's not a bad deal actually no I'll do that can you change me for 35 yeah then I'll just take all four of these and then figure it out oh whoops this was you sorry all the government pipes yeah all right okay. So that is your turn, and we're on the final round. So I'll work out my thing while you're setting those up. Okay. Because my move, I'm just going to run my pipeline again. So I'm going to run this tile again, but this time I can actually run multiple pipes. So the silver is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I only need a five, so that'll bump him up one. And my Orange is one, two, three, four, five. That meets the criteria. So I will pump up each of those and I will fulfill this contract with two more low grade oil. And that'll give me $40, which is huge. And it also completes this contract. You completed your contract? Yep. Just, I mean, I just did it. So, that was rough. Hmm. But it's good. It's all good. It's all good. I'm just thinking about how I want to put these. Yeah, once you place your tiles onto your pipeline, you can't take them off. Right. So where you where you put them is, is has to be very intentional. Because it's permanent. Mm -hmm. Okay. There. All right. So you're good? Yeah. And it's your turn. Are you going to run those pipes? Oh, you don't have any oil. No, no Earl. Not at this point, I don't. Um, I 
money for that. Hmm. No money for uh, oil? I do. Um, I'll go, I guess I'll go to crude market. Okay. Um, I'm just going to buy... Oh, he wants a teal, huh? Yeah. $7 for teal there. It's expensive. Mm hmm Round to start, <laughs> you know. Take a contract. I'm taking a contract. You don't want one? No. Oh, all right. Well, it doesn't have to be active. No. Yeah, it's gonna become active. Yeah, after like this one year. Round. That's true. No, thank you. I'd like to just save my money. Buy a tank for five dollars. No, I don't want to spend my money. Oh, okay. Because everything's going to be cheaper in a minute. You know what I mean? Uh, well, oil is, yeah. Yeah. Um, I guess I'll just go to the refined market and buy this for six dollars. The silver oil. Okay. There you go. Oops. All right, so that ends the year. Mm -hmm. So now we go into the refresh for year yes. two. And the refresh is the first thing to do is assess contracts. And I filled my contract so I don't get penalized. Right. Next thing to do is to discard the rightmost contracts, which would be these. Mm -hmm. And then we slide everything else over. Yep. And then bring out the next three. Okay. We would fill up our machines and pipes. Mm -hmm. And now we do market supply and demand. So all of the refined markets have a demand of how many cubes they're going to pull off. So this mm -hmm. market's actually going to take all the cubes off. Yep. Um, this, these down here have supply, so we're going to supply two up to four cubes, right? Yep. So we only need two there. Um, this one gets one. up to five cubes. Two orange, that one gets up to four. Three. That one gets up to five. And we are back in business, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then we reset the upgrades. So all the upgrades that we had blocked off at the last year now become available. Now, there yep. are three different levels of upgrades if you want to continue to purchase the same. So like human resources, for example, um, when taking secondary actions, your worker may move one additional space so it lets you mm -hmm. jump to the other side of the cross, which is right. pretty cool. What's the upgrade for engineering? Why are there so many of these? There's uh, always up to three level ones. Mm -hmm. What does that say? It increases it by two. Oh, wow. That's pretty good. Yep. Makes your pipes stronger. All right. And that's really it for the year. And then we just mm -hmm. jump into the first round. Yep. Okay. All right. One thing we also have to do is get rid of all the pipes mm -hmm. and bring all new ones in. So we have two per player, so it's four, total of four. Yep. Each one. So many pipes. Yeah, there's a lot of pipes going on here. I guess this is kind of good. It brings out a fresh supply of pipes. Mm-hmm. All right, just enough. Good. All right. So here's my pipeline negotiator. <laughs> All right, what am I going to do to start here? Um, wow. Okay. So now this is the second year, so another one of these sectors opens up for purchase if mm -hmm. we'd like to. Uh, but I think I'm going to jump right in and go shopping for Earl in the crude market. Okay. So I'm going to take um, one of these for six and two of these for 10, so it's $16. Okay. 
and I have the option to take a loans and contracts action. Mm -hmm. And I'm probably going to pass on that. <laughs> so. You sure? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I don't need any more loans, so mm -hmm. you can go. Hmm. <laughs> So you bought one? I didn't buy anything yet. Oh. Um. It's pretty cheap. It is, but it's kind of a waste of a turn. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. To just buy one thing. Okay. I'll still do it. Did it. There you go. All right. So it's your turn. Yep. Okay. Next round. Uh, I'm going to go and take an upgrade, which is crazy. But here's $20, and I'm going to buy the shops upgrade. And that's okay. going to immediately receive two tanks. And one shop pipe from either shop. Mm. So I'm going to put one here. And I'm going to put one here. And I'm going to take this shop tile. And I'm going to put it right. Here. Okay. And I have the option to go to the refine market for free. Refine market three. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Mm. And I'm not going to do that. No. Okay. So it's your turn. All right. I'm going to go here and run my pipes. So I've got one, two, three, four, which is actually five. Five silver. And this green one that's more than long enough. So you each up a step. Yep. Okay. And that is that. So we are on to the next round. So I am going to. I do want to run my pipes again. Yes, I'm going to go back here. No, I usually go here. And that runs, oh, I just hit my whole pipeline. <laughs> it runs one, two, three, four, five. So that's going to go up one. And my silver is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine for silver. Not mm -hmm. enough. If you can get enough for two steps, you can. Shoot it right up two yep. steps and don't have to worry about just one step. So I've upgraded one of each and I've been immediately fulfilled those bits of my contract okay. and earn $40, right? Nice. So it's your turn. Okay. I'm going to go to Refine Market 3 and. <laughs> Actually, I can run these again. Bump them up another level, huh? Yeah. Here you go. Mago. Whew. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to go to... Where am I at? I'm on my thing. I'm going to go to machines and pipes. Okay. And I'm going to buy a machine. Machine? For twenty dollars, let's show everybody how these work. Mm -hmm. So these just have to go onto a sector of your pipeline, and they will affect pipes coming off of every side of the machine. And at the end of your turn, you can pay fifteen dollars, and it will run the mm -hmm. machine. Yep. So I'm going to now use my free action to go down here and hit the refine market two, and buy for six dollars one 
silver oil crude. Okay. Put that in here. Uh, just thinking if I want to buy another one, mm. but I think I I think no, I'm not going to. Okay. Dang. Yeah. You done? Yeah, I'm done. Okay. Go now I'll go to Primark three. Okay. And I'll sell both of these. All right, so what do you have? $85. Which one? They're mid-grade. All right, so you're selling a mid-grade for mm -hmm. 45 and 40 so that's $85. That's a lot of cash. Mm-hmm. Mad stacks. Oh, yeah. All right. So are you going to take the upgrades action mm -hmm. for $10 more? No. Okay. We are getting closer to the end of the year. And I'm going to go I'm going to run my pipes again. Okay. <coughs> Here. <coughs> and that's going to No, I'm not going to run my pipes. I was running my mouth. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go to Oh, what is that? The refined market one? Mhm. Mm yeah. I'll go to Refine Market One and buy one of these for five bucks. Put that in my little tank. Then I could go to Tanks and Pipes. So this is the Tanks and Pipes shop. And do I want another pipe? Ooh, not really. Okay. Oh crap, at the refined market, I actually wanted to buy some orange. Can I do that? Wait, you were there? I was there to sell. Oh, okay. But I forgot to buy. Uh, you have to sell first, yes, and then yeah, you can buy. Yeah, I can buy. That's the rule. You must sell first, so I'll give you that for $7. Thank you. I'll let you take that back. Thanks. Um, Except I'll actually buy two of them. For, for 14 Here, give me $1 back. Okay. And... It's the end of my turn. I'm going to pay $15 mm -hmm. to run my machines. Okay. So it's going to run each pipe once that comes off the machine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which is enough to get this guy up one, one silver. And the blue is one, two, three, four, five, six. So that'll get my, my teal up one as well. So it it's, saves me from having to do it manually. Mm hmm. So show. Mm hmm. Um, I'm going to go to <clears throat> I kind of need to go here. Which one? I don't know. I want some more pipes. <laughs> yeah, me too. But I need to put them in the right spot. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, I think I want this one. I'm just thinking if I want to buy... I guess I can buy three, and you take that, and I'll take these two and this one. That's three. Three pipes for 20, right? Yeah. All right. Okay. And I'll, I'll put these away while you do that. All right, so that was the end of the round. Uh, so I've got two more turns, huh? So I'm going to run pipes, run my pipes again. Right, so that's going to run my blue pipe, my silver pipe, and my... So blue pipe needs four, so I definitely have that. 
I've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. It only takes four to get to the next step, so that's going to bring him up one. My orange can go up one, because I meet the five. And my silver is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And eight on the silver is enough, because I only need six to go up to the next grade. So I will bring him up to mid-grade. And while I'm here, I can take this orange and fill my contract for another 20 bucks. And that will end my go. Hmm. Are you built? I'm built. All right. Let's slide that up. Just oh, the slide whole thing. Up. Yeah. The whole pipeline. Yeah, yours is like tall. <laughs> it is very tall. All it's right. like Super Mario. That's good. It's my turn? Mm hmm. Um, oh, what did I want to do? Um, I'm gonna go. To the... I'm gonna go to the crude market. I'm gonna buy an oil. And buy some oil. Uh, I only have this big 50. Alright, I'll change that. <laughs> and I would like two of these. So 14. There's $36. Thank you. Alright, so do you want to take a loans and contracts? Action? No. Alright, so it is the final round of the year. So I am going to go to the tanks and pipes shop. And I'm going to buy pipes. Two of them. And that's going to cost me $15. I'm going to buy this one. And I'm going to buy this one. Um, actually that pipe doesn't help me at all. <laughs> oh, that's not the pipe I wanted. That doesn't help me one bit. Why? Because it's not going in the right direction. Mm, that sucks. That really does. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, so maybe I'm not doing that. Um... Trying to see if they have the pipe I need somewhere else. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go here and buy these two from the government oh, tiles. Oh, uh, no, you're not, because I already went here. Oh, yeah, you can. Are, yeah, this okay, is sorry, our, sorry. Yeah, yeah, this is taken up. These are always open. Yeah, yeah. So this is 10 bucks, and yeah, see, what I wanted to do was that. I wish I could buy three of those. <laughs> I'm just one shy. Yikes. Okay. Um, that's cool. That's the end of my turn, right? So I went there and I'm going to spend 15 bucks to run my machine again. And this time it's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight silver. And that's enough to get him to the top. And one, two, three, four, five, six blue. And that's more than enough to get him to the top. So I've got the highest of grade. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna run some pipes. I'm just thinking about which one. Yeah, they're more than okay. I guess we'll just do this one. Send both these guys up there. Okay. Because you're running two separate blue pipes. Right, so I'm running this pipe and this pipe. Right, you can't run oil through the same pipe. Yeah. So that's it. So now we are on to year three. So the refresh phase is assess contracts. Yeah. They are good for me. And we now do discard the rightmost contracts. So those are all gone now. And then we will refill that. So now we have market supply and demand. So the market's supply we're not really buying enough in the markets to right to knock them down all that much so mm -hmm. supply there is good don't put those up top mm -hmm. put these down here 
one more gray and two more blue up here all right so that's good these are all now gone we have to bring out new ones and nobody bought any upgrades that round Oops. nope grab me a stack of these for year three oh, it's crazy and so there's only four rounds in this year so <laughs> this is it okay so i'm gonna go to tanks and pipes okay. and i'm going to buy pipes 15 oh i don't have cash <gasps> you have six dollars i'm gonna go to the refined market first okay and i'm gonna sell some earl okay the so refined market one i'll sell one of my high grade yeah silver oils for $55. <laughs> I needed money first and then mm -hmm. I then I can go over here and take a tank and pipe action. So I am going to buy so I have to buy from this shop here. So I'm going to take this guy and finish that off. And then I'm going to take I'm in tanks and pipes right now machines and pipes. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm on tanks and pipes, not machines and pipes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, they're not really good pipes. Uh, you know what? No, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna put this one up here instead, and I'm gonna buy. Go buy this one, and put that over here. Okay, that's my pipeline. Okay. Yeah, that's it. I don't think I need any more tanks. Oh, and what I forgot to do is every year, because I have a shop upgrade, mm. yearly I receive two tanks. Mm. And I forgot to fill the tanks up anyway. <laughs> so. And I actually, I don't think I take them from the shop, to be honest with you. I they look I, like little cryopods. They do. Um, or airstreams. here, and I'll put one here. There we go. All right. My turn? Yes, ma'am. Right, I'm just running my pipes again. So the same thing I did last time. Your turn. Oh, did you rain your pipes? Mm -hmm. Oh, I wanted to run my machine. Well, run it. No, I didn't. Okay. I'm not going to run one. <laughs> one Earl. That'd be kind of a waste, right? Um, I don't know why I didn't buy from the refined market after I sold, too. Huh, last turn. buy? I just feel like I didn't do everything I should have been doing. All right, so why don't you buy? So... Last turn, I was in the refined market. I sold first, and then you buy. Right. You can't buy and then sell. Exactly. So I'm going to buy these for 10 I just paid it. And then it's like all these things I should have done, and I didn't. I it was dumb. I was rushing through my turn. Sorry. Yeah. That's okay. Um, it is now... So what are you going to do now? Now... Especially. Oh, yeah. Sorry. We were on this one. So I want to go, and I need to buy more refined... What stinks about the crude market, it's got the loans and contracts, so doing a double action there is lame mm -hmm. because I don't want to take another contract. Right. But it's got the cheapest crude. I know. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, that's a shame. But I also forgot to put another machine out, by the way. I didn't realize we bought all that stuff. Okay, I'm, I'm going to go to the crude market, and I'm going to buy two of these. And that's 10 bucks. And now for 15, I'm going to run my machines. Okay. Bang. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mm -hmm. It's not enough. Mm -mm. Need 11 to go up two steps. That stinks. Yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten on the silver. Same. Again, I'm short one. And then blue is one, two, three, four, five, six. Only one step. So I can only do one step every time I want run my machines. Are you done? Now I'm going to move these over and fill this contract. So go ahead. That's okay. another $40. I'm going to run this pipe. So it's going to be an orange and a blue. Or a green, whatever that is. Mm -hmm. um, 
So I, I'm able now to fill an order and I'm going to do it. So I'm going to take this order mm -hmm. and I'm filling it with a high grade teal, a mid grade teal and a low grade orange. So I will get paid out accordingly here. Yes. 55, 45, 30. Wow. Jeez. That's $130. That is. That is. That is. I'm going to give you the fat hundred. Okay. <laughs> Here's a hundred. Thank you. And 30. Thanks. Dollars. Can I change out these fives? For what? Just the, like a five. Oh, you want a five? Yeah, I mean these ones. <laughs> it's like... Thanks. All right. Second to last round. It's for all the marbles. Mm -hmm. Eek. All right, so... Wow, this is brutal. I guess <clears throat> I'm gonna go. I don't wanna buy some Earl again, but I don't know if it's worth it. I think I'll refine market two, huh? I would like to buy some more oil. So I'm gonna go to the refined market too. I'm gonna buy for $12. These two silvers. And for 15, I'm gonna run my machine again. So I've got, I have a blue and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So I can go up one on the blue I'll bring him to mid grade. Silver, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again, I can only go up one notch. And the yellow, or the orange. And then the orange I'm gonna use to fill and get 20. All right, your turn. Okay. Oops, I lost my worker. Mm. I'm going to go to If I go here I have two separate orange lines. Can I run this through twice? Once in one line and once in another? No, because all of your lines run at the same time. Oh, that's what I thought. Yes. I, thought, I knew there was a reason why. Yes. But I didn't know what that reason that's, was. That's what you have to imagine. Like yeah. when you run oil, you run all your lines right, at once. Right. All right. But that's a good question. Mm-hmm. I posed it for the people. Ah, yes. Indeed. All right. I will go. I guess I'll go to the crude market. And I'll just spend $14 on two of these. Okay. That's all. Last turn. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Um, Yeah. <laughs> I was like, do I want to spend $10 to uh, get $20? No. That's risque. <laughs> um, I'm going to go and do an upgrade. Yeah, I know that's crazy at this point in the game. Mm -hmm. $20, but what I'm going to buy is engineering level one to increase the value of my pipelines by one. Okay. And I'm going to... go to the refined market because I can do the secondary and I'm mm -hmm. going to sell in refined market three $55 oil. Mm. Why would you do that? Why not? Oh, okay. uh, and now I'm going to spend 15 and run my machines. 
So my blue, this is the last turn, right? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that'll be seven. But I'm actually going to just move him up to the top. Okay. Um, oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> I mean, it's a net five bucks, but... Right, you're gonna make, so you're gonna score it twice. I'll move him up one. I'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven on silver. So I can actually go up two rungs on this. Boom, boom, and that's it. Okay. And I'll come back here and run too. Done. Done. So we are now. Ready to score it up. All right. End game. But I'm going to get crushed with these loans. <laughs> that stinks. 50 bucks. Wow. Yeah, it's probably going to be the death of me. But Yeah. Well, we'll see. All right. Let's score it. All right. Okay. So we will just start with oil barrels. Yes. So we're going to get paid out for what, what oil you have in your barrels based on low, mid, and high grade. So right. crude oil is not going to pay anything. Nope. So, so how much? 20 bucks. <laughs> well, you have two. I right? know. That's 10 each. Oh, low grade is only yeah. 10. All right, so 20 bucks. There you go. I've got 10, 20, and 40, right? Mm -hmm. So I've got $60 in oil in my barrels. All right, pipelines now. So count up your pipelines. Yeah. So depending on, for every pipeline, depending on whether of what grade they'll upgrade to. And remember, you plus one for your fours, right? Yep. It doesn't matter anyway. One, two, three, four, five. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So that's 50 bucks. That will all go up just one level. Yep. You have any pipes that'll do nope. up to two levels? So how much? 50? Mm -hmm. All right. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, plus one would be 11. Mm -hmm. That's a that's two, two grades, right? So mm -hmm. that, what is a two grade 20. worth? 20. So it's 20. Two, three, four, five, six. That's thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Mm -hmm. That's another twenty. Yeah. It's fifty. And that? that's why I only have three workable pipes here. <laughs> so fifty bucks. Okay. Um. So that's pipelines. Yep. Now we do our valuation. So there's four of them. So value of pipelines attached to machines. So it's yeah. the same for me. So I get fifty. Right, because they're all attached. Because they're all attached to the machine. All right. And then we have the value of pipelines that upgrade crude to low grade. Right. So you had so how many pipelines? Same. Five. One, two, three, four, five. So it's 50 bucks, right? Yep. And I only had one that did that. Mm. Right? Yep. Um, okay. So that was our valuation for that one. What's the yep. next one? Value of? So this is the value of teal oil in tanks. Uh -huh. So I get another 20 bucks. All right. Plus, plus the value of your teal pipeline. So how much is your teal so pipeline? So I have 20 as well, because he's both upgrade. Another 20? Yeah, they both upgrade one level. I okay. have two of them. There's another 20 bucks. I've got 20, $30 in oil and one pipe that does one, two, three, four, five, six, mm. seven, another 10, 10 so $30. How do you get 30? Because I have... Oh, right, right. You added it. 30. Okay. I had 20 in my tanks. Right, right. Well, I had 30 in my tanks and and another 10, right? Yep. All right. And the last one is the value of your refined oil. Again, so we rescore that. Uh, so it's another 20 bucks. Wow. Okay. And then my refined was 40, 50, 60. I have mad stack. No, no, no. Tens. I'm sorry. 40. Yeah. 20, 40, 50, 60 dollars. 60 bucks and I also have to pay 50 back in penalties because I took out loans so that's one two of those I'll just change these in here can you give me another hundred I don't want to give you another <laughs> all right do you have all your money counted up uh, how many yep. stacks do you have My bad stacks. Um. 5, 337 $337. 337 Yep. I've got 250 60 70 85 60, 289 You had 337 
37 dollars oh, that was close that was good all right let's go talk about it all right there you have it pipelines built built oil we are refined oil moguls we are oil barons Oil oh, bar yeah, that's right? better. Is that, yeah, it's done right. Okay. <laughs> so there you have it. So that was pipeline. Um, what do you think? I like it. You like it. Yeah. So we've played this a few times, and we're gonna start off like always talking about replayability. Mm -hmm. um, in my opinion, replayability is very high here. Sure. And for a kind of unique reason, I guess what I expected going into this was to have kind of like one you how do i put this i figured you could kind of do everything mm -hmm. and that was the game right was to kind of do a little bit of everything and that's not the case every single time i've played this game i've gone a different route yes so i tried something a little different this time we had very different valuations out mm -hmm. we can talk about which ones we didn't pull out on purpose yeah um and why we did that but um I'll let you take it from there. Okay. So from a replayability perspective, you, you think about the setup, right? And the setup um, really dictates how the game's going to go, right? Yeah. So from the valuation cards, and there's a lot of them, um, that's really going to change the way and the direction you go with the game. The contracts, the orders are always going to be different because there's a huge stack of them that you bring out. Yeah, and we, you only, didn't yeah, we didn't even go through the orders. Like there, there's so many, but they're really hard to achieve. Right. Um, you're going to have different tiles out, so your tile placement is going to be different every time. The the uh, relationship between the actions and the markets is going to be different. Mm -hmm. Like as you saw, contracts and loans was on the crude market, so taking a crude market action really limited you because you're not always picking up contracts and you're not always taking out loans. So right. you can't really get a good double up action there. The uh, upgrades are different. There's a bunch more in the box that you only bring out five for the game. Yeah. So from a replayability perspective, you are going to do something different every time from a strategy perspective, just because your goals are so different. And if you do not achieve those goals, right. you will lose this game. The, um, the amounts of the refinement requirements, right, per mm -hmm. step, that's all randomly drawn. It and is. for um, your first few games, you don't even bring out the sevens. There are sevens right. to put in there, and that makes it really hard. Especially when those sevens come out. Refining crude to low. Yeah, because that's so just... You have to build this whole network before you... Yeah, a seven-length pipe network yeah. just to get from crude to low. That's extremely challenging. Other games. Like, we had another game where I did, I think, like, five or six orders. Yeah. And all I, and my pipeline was super tiny, but it was very efficient. It was efficient. And it was, like, long, but I only had, like, a couple yeah. pipelines. And I just ran it, ran it, ran it. Kept generating really good oil. Mm -hmm. Filled a bunch of orders. And then we had a valuation... Tile, like yeah. tile out that gave you exponentially more money. And we'll talk about orders. we'll talk about why those weren't in this playthrough yeah. um, in a bit. Okay. So I think from a playability perspective, I think we would both agree it's very high, yes. right? Um, um, wow, wait an audience, right? Yeah. So this is this is a heavy game. There's no doubt. Um, it's very heavy with regards to kind of planning your moves and mm -hmm. trying to be efficient, right? Because you don't have a lot of time to build your engine. Right. You don't have a lot of money to do anything in this game. Right. And the pipes, you've also, then you've got this whole like spatial puzzle yeah. that you've got Which to kind of fun. figure out. It's great, but it, it all, it burns different parts of your brain at the same yeah. time. So it really uh, can lock you up, I think. And I would say, it's not, it's interesting because this is not a game where you can necessarily make a plan and stick to it. Right. Because there is so, I don't want to say there's randomization, but, you know, the tile that you might want mm -hmm. might disappear. You yeah, know, somebody yeah. else might take it. Um, your strategy might change as you go. And it's not one that you want to get too hung up on mm -hmm. making your end game plan right because especially once you get into years two and three it's going really fast mm -hmm. and you have very limited time to make up your mind about what you want to do exactly um so you're just gonna have to come to terms with the fact that you can't do everything mm -hmm. um but also don't get too hung up in the planning of it so i yeah. think that some of the weight is actually in that Yes. Or you want to plan, but you can't necessarily. Yeah, in this game, it, it doesn't in any way hold your hand yeah. or guide you. Mm -hmm. 
And if you overextend in this game, there's no catch up mechanic. No. And you will be punished. You will. Like you take contracts that you can't fulfill, you will be punished. Right. Like this, it will, the game will beat you down for making mistakes. And that's right. where the heaviness in it, it it's, it's relentless in that. And mm. I think that's why I'm like, this thing is, it's, it's definitely in the heavy category because you can't play this like a light game because you will get destroyed. You'll get crushed. You might have fun. Yeah, but you'll get but destroyed. You'll get You're destroyed. not going to win. You're not even going to come close yeah. to winning this game. Right. So. Um, so let's talk about theme and components. Yeah. Um, you know, tool art, yeah. which is like my favorite. Yeah, and it's, it's a prototype it's, too. And this thing looks like it came off the shelf, right? Like this it does, is, looks good. This is a really, really solid prototype. Um, yeah, I don't know if the tiles would be. They're almost like a linen finish. Yeah, like this. It, know, <laughs> but they're thick. Yeah, this is probably one of the they're nicest nice. quality prototypes I've ever seen as far as <laughs> cardboard goes. Like it's like linen cardboard and right. it's thick. Yeah. So if the final copy is of this quality, I think everybody's in for a, for a happy, uh, a happy, game, a happy purchase. Yeah, yeah definitely. So um, yeah, so theme component is really, really good. Theme is cool. Um, it kind of reminds us of of like a, a, a viticulture or a vinos where you're kind of aging your it wines. Is, yeah. And this you're kind of aging refining your, your oils, oil. <laughs> right? So, And we like both of those games, yes. so this one kind of fit right in with it yeah. as well. Uh, so very very cool theme as well. Yeah. Well, yeah, because then you have the markets too. So you have options yeah. about what you do with it. Like, do you sell it at the market? Do you fill orders? Yeah, because you're making... Do you just let it sit there? You're making a premium by filling orders. You're mm -hmm. actually getting a little bit more money. Um, yep. But if you're if you're strapped, you can always just go to the markets and sell. I probably should have sold some oil early on. But again, there's a lot of choices that you have to make. And mm -hmm. that's, it's, it's tough. Yeah. Um, so fun factor. Did you have fun? Yeah, it's a fun game. There's no doubt. Um, and I think it, what lends it is the balance between complexity mm -hmm. and uh quickness in the in, in the right. sense that the game doesn't overstay its welcome it doesn't you're not playing for round and round and round and you're just like okay you know it, it just starts to it ramp up to a quick. point where it's like overwhelming right. like right as you start to get going like any good euro like you're <laughs> done you're like oh i just need one more turn to like right. set this combo down and just run my machines one more time yeah um, fill that last order yeah so know. that i think that's great you know it's definitely it's, it's a lot of fun this game i will say i had i don't know when you want to talk about this valuation card thing oh yeah but i had a a lot more fun this game mm -hmm. even though i did exploit the crap out of those other valuation cards yeah so let's things. talk about that now right so but from, I, but i felt more forced to do more stuff as opposed to yeah so and, explain and that. this is our opinion right and we'll throw yeah. this in the pros and cons section of this right so pros everything we've talked about so far right is a massive pro right um for us the con is in the power of some of these valuation cards now they are sort of ridiculous when it comes up to the multiplier of points that you can earn mm -hmm. because you by achieving one of these and let me pull one it's out exponential a lot yeah. there's three cards and they're all exponential based on yeah so just to give you yeah. an example um three, yeah. yeah i've got three right here so number of pipeline types right so it gives you all the three different colors and if you're able to achieve a pipeline that does low medium and high grade of each color pipe right mm -hmm. and that is that hard yeah but it, maybe you get five out of the nine because to get all of it you need all three right. by three say if you just get five of them you're getting paid 150 dollars for that right. reward you're not earning that for any of these other valuations right. like these and they ramp up if you haven't hit all nine that's 450 bucks i mean it's yeah. probably really so it's like really hard to do but maybe but if you spend your entire game just yeah. buying tiles going to the market selling buying tiles you know what yeah I mean? you're gonna you get it, it. you're gonna get it. number of refined oil types in fulfilled contracts and, and, and orders I, I really right like. so if you do every grade every color uh -huh of just say five different ones, mm -hmm. you know, like a couple of each, 150 bucks. Yeah. That is going to be the difference between you being close, what like our game. 250, how many did you have to get? You need seven of them, or, or six of yeah. them. You only needed six, so I it goes between did, five and six is 150 I did 10. two orders on that one, yeah. that game. Only two, but the type, like this, this for example, is three different types of oil. Right. That's worth an order. additional sixty dollars. You do one of those again. Yeah. That's two hundred and ten dollars. Yes. So that's where I think that this is what kind of makes it rough for the two of us. Because mm -hmm. if I want to play 
my way and not necessarily go for this particular and valuation. And kind of have fun with the machine. Yeah, and, or if somebody you know, is, is taking those orders before you get a chance to, and no uh, other orders are coming out that give you this variety so you can nail them all in one shot, you're going to lose by $200. And right. that's a huge well, And gap. from the other side, too, I think that, like, from a fun standpoint, mm -hmm. like I said, I had more fun with these, like, particular valuations. Yeah. Because they were a little milder, and it made me feel like I could responsibly stretch out a little bit and do some different things. Yeah. Where my mindset when I go into a game is like, of course I want to have fun, but like, I also want to win. Yeah. So if I see a very clear way to win and I'm only doing stuff in this corner of the board, you know, I feel like I'm not <clears throat> doing the game justice. Right. And um, that was kind of our experience with those. But the good thing is... You can you pull them can out. Pull them out, like we, yeah. If you don't like so, them, and there's so, a whole stack of them. So yeah. So I mean, obviously, there's, these are all the valuation cards. You've got a ton of options mm -hmm. here, and only a handful of them, like three or four of them, uh, have this sort of uh, exponential scoring in it. Right. Um, what would make this? What would fix this is if these didn't ramp up as much. Right. Well, yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah, I don't know how they came. Maybe at max, but... even if you hit all nine, you get an extra hundred bucks or hundred fifty bucks. Yeah. Like that, that would, would be... probably be a little more fair because that would be probably more balanced with the others i think so because the other ones don't they just don't score that much right. uh, at least in our in our experience yeah. we've played this game four times now mm -hmm. and so that that was our only con and maybe it's yeah. just because we're that's how it turned out for us right. maybe there's a better way to do it i don't know but from our experience that's just that's just what we're saying right yeah. so just giving feedback you know, right. for good or bad but like i said we pull them out and uh -huh. we play with other ones and it's for us, it's more enjoyable because right. it keeps the game tighter. You know, I lost by like 50, 60 bucks. Yeah. And, you know, I paid 50 bucks in loans. So right. I think that even though it helped me during the game, maybe it's it wasn't balance. maybe it wasn't the right thing. But I think that's close enough for me to say, yeah, you know what? Maybe I, I made a few moves that cost me the game and I could live with that. Mm -hmm. But if I'm losing by $200 because <laughs> you happen to grab one order to I change the to. game, you know what I mean? Like... That that to me is a lot is too much to recover from. Right. right. So okay. I don't like the whole game hinging on one one good move. Yeah. You yeah. Know what I mean, at least by it's it's enough to lose by by one good move, but to lose by double what you yeah. score is just like whoa. Right. Right. Okay. Okay. So, enough on that. Yes. Um. So let's talk. I want to talk about expectations really mm -hmm. quickly because my my expectation. First of all, I was very excited about this game. Yes, of course. So um when. You know, the Capstone reached out to us yeah. you know, to do it. Um, we were just like, absolutely. Yeah, we're not, no brainer, sure. <laughs> no brainer, we'll do it. for sure. Um, and I would say I was pleasantly surprised, actually, that it was, it's really less about building your pipelines mm -hmm. than it is about managing what's going on. Like in a very, like we said earlier, in a very like viticulture kind of way, yeah. where it's not just about winemaking, you know, mm -hmm. it's about, to, you know, tour, giving tours and like managing your company yep. and aging and making decisions about what you want to do with things. And so that was, that was really refreshing. And I really enjoyed too, how the rounds, like every year it gets shorter and shorter mm -hmm. because it pushes you a little bit, like I said, to not try and plan so much. It takes some of that stress off a little bit. Yeah. And it and forces fun. you to make smart, mm -hmm. short decisions right because you don't have the time to like stretch out another eight rounds exactly to, to build this and i think yeah. it would just get it would be overwhelming it would be, yeah. so it was a very smart design decision sure. to to cut the rounds down and, and and because your engine at least your pipeline should be built by year two mm -hmm. and your late year two into year three should just be refining oil yeah. and, and filling contracts and and, and, and generating something. as much money as you can before the end of the game and right. trying to and trying to hopefully grab some of those valuations yeah so um, but cool, yeah, I, I expected, this definitely wasn't what I expected, but I'm happy with what right. what it what it was, put it that way. Yeah. I thought it was going to be more about building the pipelines. And I, thought, I thought it was going to be more like tile placement. Solely on the pipeline, yeah. and us kind of like sharing that, but it ended up being, pipeline's a part of the game, mm -hmm. but the market, the contracts, and kind of like leveraging some of the actions on the table right. to, to maximize the output of your pipeline, I think that's where the game shines. Yeah. 
Yeah, very unique. Really. Yeah, it's very unique. Yeah. Very different. So. Very cool. All right. Um, well, this is already live on Kickstarter. I believe it's already mm -hmm. funded. So uh, <laughs> we were a, little, a few days late to the game on this, but uh, right. at least we got it out. So I hope you enjoyed it. I think we made a few little mistakes um, in the game. I know for sure I, I refined, and I'll put a note, in the, I'll put a note yeah. in the video. I refined on a pipeline with a machine. I always forget that. You can't ref you can't actually run your pipeline right. as an action if you have a machine connected to that pipeline. So Because that is dangerous. That is very dangerous. Yes, yeah, so you don't want somebody in there. But yeah. Uh, there you go. We'll put the link to the Kickstarter campaign. Definitely go check it out. Um, hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time. See ya.